Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. Hey guys, yeah, so um, we're currently in the Philippines. This oh. is our story of moving our family of five from the UK to the Philippines. We made it here safely, we're blessed. Everything's been amazing. We've been here a few days now. Looking forward to our journey here in the Philippines. So we're uh, excited to share with you guys our journey, how we moved, what we've done. The time we prepped in the UK, getting our visas ready and the kids dual citizenship and all sorts. So it was a major move. So the first video is basically going to be us in the UK getting ready. And then as we carry on, we'll, uh, we'll be uploading probably two videos a week. Yeah. Yep, super excited to be here. Currently in Pangasinan. Pangasinan. Uh, we landed in Clark. We're going to be heading to Pampanga. But we'll keep while. you updated yeah. and posted and let you guys know. So yes. um, our videos please follow like and subscribe follow the journey um yeah, yeah. it'll be fun enjoy it's more fun in the philippines right whoop, 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 whoop. hey guys what's popping so today is the 21st of september and we've got a collection coming for the last of the boxes. So yeah, it's the last three. Nice day today, actually. Sunny. Cold, very cold. So we are, as I said earlier, 21st of September. We've got Seven nights, six nights left in this house. It's gonna be, um, gonna be a bit emotional, you know, because I've, I've been in this house since I was two, one years old. I had all the memories here with my mum and dad. My dad's not here anymore, so it's just, it's, it's, I think with all the excitement of moving, it's still gonna be, still gonna be a bit of a not emotional farewell, but just like letting go of all the memories that we built. Come on, dude, It is Saturday, 23. Sun's out. Very nice. Ticking down the timer, ticking down the time. Reasons we're leaving the UK. So, number one, you know straight away the first one. It's the weather, shocking. Number two, do you know what? We've just been here, obviously, how do I put this? I've done close to 40 years in the UK and if I look at life like a journey from like point A to point B if I had a choice why would I choose to stay in the UK for another 20 years there's so much out there to see I just feel we get we get distracted here like about the real purpose of life spending time with my kids spending time in nature, relaxing a little bit, slowing everything down a little bit. It just gets, you just lose, you, you could so easily, you just lose, you get stuck in consumption and materialism and you just, you just lose the purpose. And I think it hit home for me when my father passed away. It's just the only thing you've got really is memories. That's it. So my objective now is just to, to create some amazing memories that you just, you look back on and you think, you know what, that was that was the best time. And I think it's always now obviously, every now is always the best time. But I'm just we're just super excited changing up the dynamic, changing the location, changing the energy. You know like I think for me personally you can level up consciously. Like you become more aware of everything, you become more connected to everything. And I think at some point you know, for you to excel, you have to change the environment because the environment can hold you back sometimes from your true potential because everyone you've ever known has always, they've all got this version of you that might be an old version of you or it might be a way you used to be and people perceive you still in that way. And I think it's just nice. You can literally recreate yourself, recreate everything about yourself and just, you know, you might end up ex excelling more. The main ones, the food. Just, you know, what I want to be able to do is drive to the beach. 
you know, like one hour drive and I'm in a white sand beach. One hour drive here, I just, I can't even get into London and I live on the outskirts. I live 12 miles away from London, so. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to just spontaneously go, you know, a road trip to a waterfall or to a beach or to a forest or to some sort of, just relax. <laughs> What's the date, chat? Uh, 28th of September. Look at the house, guys. Total Shambhala. Let me just show you the other side. Yeah, look at my house. I think it got like that. Moving day. Me. Yes, yes, yes. Today is what's the date today? Fourteenth. of October. Currently on our way to my mum's or my sister's house for uh, it's my sister's birthday and her daughter's birthday on the same day, and also the last time we're going to be meeting up together. What is going on? So update to our progress so far. Updates, updates. We are October 22 of status. Current status is been grafting for 14 days straight. <laughs> oh, I only had a shave. Shave is good. Keep them fresh, Carl. It's nice and fresh. Kalio's wig when he was trying to get up. What, that bit on the train? Oh, wait. Why would you say that? Why would <laughs> hey, but you? that's not the best one. <laughs> that's gonna not get, nice. I'm going to get shot at the airport. Seriously. <laughs> The last bit, boy. So what are you trying to say when we get on the plane? Something no, happens. No, not you, lot. It's, it's fucking hard. Yeah, but not you too. Nah, I meant the bad. Way, you know. Nah, fuck it. I ain't gonna explain this. I'll sneak you out. <laughs> hey, it's Billy Bunko from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, dude. Anyway. Hey. Hey. Welcome to the channel, one that. Let's go. Fun, oh, man. <laughs> how, how many days you out, bass? Six days, seven days. Six days out, bass. Come on, new, new <laughs> living style, one that. We're Bye, moving, we're moving. Finally is evac day, and uh, we actually haven't done I haven't done any recordings for for days because I've literally been non-stop. But look, we're here. We're in the uh, thick of Halloween vibes, winter vibes, clocks go back vibes. Yes, guys. Wow, what a rush! Literally f still cleaning really right before we were plane. supposed to leave. Literally, my mum. Uh, Came down, put the luggages in the car, we drove. I drove to Stansted. Crazy, man. Absolute nuts. Out. Was not expecting to be that busy. But hey, we're here, we're through security. It was quick. Um, yeah, everything's been smooth. Checking was literally, I mean, it took a minute, we had 13 cases, but uh, everything was blessed. So um, we'll shout you when we hit the lounge. Let's go. Jump. Yes, yes, people was blocking. Currently on flight. Tired. Swollen probably. The flight's actually been decent now. I was expecting it to be uh, I don't know, I have flew to Dubai before and I didn't really enjoy it with Emirates. So yeah, this was actually pleasantly surprising. Cebu, here we come. <laughs> Not even getting off. Not even getting off the plane. We made it, we made it. We're in Clark's now, walking to luggage collection and secure attire. Shit, man, we've been out here for 24 hours since we left. I left my house at 10 o'clock yesterday, so. 
feeling the pain, feeling tired, but yes, happy we're here. Happy. What I wanna be, yeah? Uh? Devo.